Welcome, everybody, to the RBC Network. You're now tuned in to the Late Night Potty with your host, Greg and Brian. Welcome. <laughs> How's it going, Greg? I had a great so, day. Say again? I had a fabulous, great day. What are you sipping on over there? Champagne for my birthday. Hey, happy uh, birthday. Essential, though, with champagne. You, you cut up some fruit and you, you throw it in there. I got some blackberries in there and a fabulous. Well, for those of you who don't know, it's it's Brian's birthday weekend. Be Brickle, be Boca, be Blicky. We wish Dude, you we're in South time. Florida, baby. We we're going to have a good time. We wish you nothing but love and blessings. And now to bring in another guest on the potty tonight. You might have saw him on MTV. You might have saw him on Double Shot at Love. You might have saw him somewhere in the ocean. We got Antonio. P, P, P. That stands for pool. Party. Big tone. Poppy. Big, big tone. Welcome big to the tone. party. We have special guest, check, Antonio check. Locke. I can't hear nothing. Big tone. Oh, I'm live. We're live. We're live. Hey, Antonio, yes. how's the weather? Uh, the weather's nice. A little breezy out here in South Florida. You should join in the late night. What about, what about what about you, Greg? How's the weather in Hawaii? <laughs> a little breezy, as you can see. My hair's all over the place. <laughs> oh, man. And you're not sweating? You're not hot? You know, when you're this cool. What's up, B. Brickle? <laughs> What's good? Big tone. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like the only reason I'm on this is because I spoke to Greg the other night. And I was like, yo, I seen your work. I like it. I think it's great. I'm glad management was able to cough up that uh, that potty fee that you recommend. This guy sent the invoice already. To be honest, oh, come on. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Antonio brokered a deal with Happy Dad, actually, uh, recently. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that beverage, how you like it? I love Happy Dad. I think it's great. I like it a lot more than High Noon, any of these other seltzers. I think it's the best seltzer in the market right now for various reasons. Number oh, one. It, you know, it's a seltzer. I thought it was a beer. It looks like a beer. Seltzer. See, that's the thing. Number it one, does. being being that it's more mainly, it's more like, you know, you got the you got the regular beer type of looking uh, thing. Not the cool yeah, skinny I thing. I haven't tried it yet. I got to exactly. try it. Exactly. So, so, I mean, that that's number one. That's one of the things. I mean, it's, I, don't, I don't like drinks that are too fuzzy, like fizzy. <laughs> You know, when I drink a happy dad, I don't get that bloated. Like, I have to go to the bathroom feeling. Mm. And overall, I like the colors. Red, white, and blue, baby. America. I'm sold. Fuck. Hey, where I need one right here. Look where I am. <laughs> I'll tell you what's on my mind. Right. Well, let me ask you something. So I've been having it. Let, let me, this is what I want to talk about. I've been having a debate with a couple of my friends. You know, people that are out working in the industry and the bars and stuff like that. Sure. You know, we're not really that young anymore. So we're talking about people getting in the bars, people drinking this and that. 20-year-old comes up to you at the bar. 19-year-old comes up to you, at you at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel how, about how, that? How, how, how is a 19, 20-year-old coming up to you at the bar? Listen, Greg, we've all been 19 and 20 before. Were you in bars when you were 19 and 20? <laughs> And let me say something. Let me say something. I live in a bar town. I live in a college town. It's like, these are things you need to speak about publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Julio, two happy guys, please. This is a late night television show. This is the potty where we shoot the shit. Tone, you can do a lot of things on the potty. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> where do we go from here? I, I think either way, you're in the clear. They're no longer teenagers. I uh it's a very fine line. I think that's what it comes down but, to. It's a very no, fine line. Me? I think I think I think it's a very fine line only when alcohol comes into play. Yeah, and that's yeah, pretty much it. No, it's yeah. above it's above the legal but, age to, to be around and hang out with and you know things like that, but it's under the legal age of drinking. I see your point. I see your point. I'm somebody who who doesn't set expectations or limits to who I can get along with who I can have a relationship maybe, or, or, or I can just talk to, I mean, am I, do you have to pursue anything with that person? No. Are you out here? Let me, let me I, check an IDs is another thing, but like I said, you, we know <laughs> the age, so we don't have to check IDs. We know the ages 19 and 20. So let me put it in this, in this type of perspective, because I'm looking at these palm trees here. I'm looking at these palm trees here. So Greg, 
a girl walks up to you while you're on the beach, on the playa, right? And now you're taking some sun, you know, girls walking back and forth. You're taking some sun in, in your blazer over there. And someone comes up to you. One of them come up to you. Hey, uh, you're drinking. You got a bottle by you. You got a couple beers. You know what I'm saying? Like, tell you the Asian or anything like that. They're drinking. I don't know. But I do know that there is a fine line. Can I, bring, can I bring a guest onto the podcast? I'm sorry to interrupt. What's up? Who do you got? This is the body. Anything goes. Shoot, Anything shoot goes over shit. there. Can we have my guest come out here? He, he's walking shoot, through the green room right now. Shoot, we asked him this question as well. Let's shoot see, your shit him. into Let's the body. In this is, what do you got? This, uh, what do you got? You guys may or may not know him, but uh, he's actually got a big day ahead of himself tomorrow. He's going to the Kentucky Derby, pretty much, of, of Florida over here. Uh, uh -huh. I want you guys to give a warm welcome to one of Staten Island's own. He's down here in South Flow, living his life, thinking about making the move to Miami. Mr. Christopher Russo. Woo! Oh, my guy. My guy. Hey, Russo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, see you. What up, boys? Big day tomorrow on the horse track. Go side, go cyber monkey. Hey, how's, how's the Hawaii, way? Greg? How's Hawaii? <laughs> I'll be looking out for the cyber monkey. <laughs> it's the Pegasus. It's the Pegasus World Cup. What's the What's it at again? What's the place called? Oh, he went back into the green room. He's getting nuts over there. <laughs> Tell us the secrets to that luscious yes. of yours. So we got the uh, the Brazilian the Brazilian shampoo. Um, got the name of it, but straight out of fucking Rio. And then you got conditioner from Bali, and then uh, a little a little wax. The cyber monkey. He's killing me. He's killing me with the uh, with the conditioner from Bali. Let me show you one more thing real quick before I go. Greg, you know, you're in Hawaii. I've been walking around. You know, you think I'm in SoFlo, but realistically, I'm in Santorini. I'm in Santorini right now. I've been here for the last week. As you can see, the view from my hotel room is absolutely incredible. Um, I love it here. Hey. Bri, we're over here in Greece. Oh, man, that's beautiful. How's the weather over there? It's not as nice as Greg's, but it looks a little breezier over there. The, the steak is ready. Yeah. Love. Wow, that's that's free. That's free delivery. Go to a yeah, before, before, I'm gonna show you the last fight. The last fight, we got one more special guest. This is very good. He's mean. Yo, yo, Woo! we got one more guest for the party. Woo! The only. He's mean. He's lean. Woo! The shade. Victor! <laughs> Shay! Yeah, baby! Wow. What's good, good, the pot what's good for the party? What? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're wrestling, bro. <laughs> they just play WWE every night. Give him the walls of Jericho. The walls of Jericho. <laughs> Shay, oh, that's the that's the that's the party right there. Hey. <laughs> What's with the suits? I told you, make your own TV shirts. Shay, we're running on a budget here. We go. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> yeah. Game two weeks is. Fellas, I gotta go. The whole set is the show's camera has been filtered the whole time, but this ain't a filter. <laughs> so listen, we we like to wrap up the party here with with, with what we call the last wipe. So we we go around and we and we um <laughs> we wipe the slate we wipe the slate clean. Uh, Brian, I'm glad I'm I'm glad you got pants on tonight, Brian. I don't. <laughs> this is how you sign off the party. Party at where the party at where the party at. You know I can't forget to wash my hands. Action. Can you get up my face? I'm on the party. <laughs> <laughs>